Hi, hello and welcome back. In this video, we are going to see about the daily aptitude day 139 solution. So today's aptitude questions have taken from the concept of time, speed and distance. So we are going to discuss about three questions in detail in this video. So if you are new to this channel and have not subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel for more videos. And also last video on our channel, if you see, means we have posted about the DXC technologies of campus recruitment and daily aptitude day 138 solution, IBM of campus recruitment and KP80 and Google internship also we have posted. So if you have not watched that video, you can watch that video and apply for those companies also. So let's get into today's topic. So the first question is, a train 800 meters long is running at the speed of 78 km per hour. If it crosses a tunnel in one minute, then the length of the tunnel in meters is we have to identify. So they have given the train length as 800 meters and the speed of that particular train is going to be 78 km per hour and it crosses a tunnel in one minute. So it is going to cross a tunnel in one minute. So already we have discussed in a channel regarding this tunnel sum and platform sum and all. So if you watched our previous videos means this question will be easily solved by uh, you without any explanation also. So let us let, let us go into this explanation now. So let the length of the train tunnel be x meter. So length of the tunnel we don't know we are going to assume it as x meter. And we know time formula as time is equal to distance divided by speed. So when coming to tunnel or platform sum the distance will be the length of the train plus the length of the tunnel you will be assuming that is the only change in this particular problem. So time is equal to length of train plus length of tunnel divided by speed. So time they have given us one minute. So you have to convert it in seconds because they have asked the uh, length of the tunnel in meter. So we have to convert everything in meter per second. So one minute will be converted into 60 seconds. So 60 which is equal to length of the train is 800 meters they have given and length of tunnel we don't know. So we are going to assume it as x. And speed they have given us 78 km per hour. So converting km per hour to meter per second into 5 by 18 you have to do. So 78 into 5 by 18 if you do means 65 by 3 you will get. So substituting in this particular formula and solving for the value of x you will be getting the answer as 500 meters. So option C is the correct answer for the first question. And the second question is a 300 meter long train crosses a platform in 39 seconds. While it crosses a signal pole in 18 seconds, what is the length of the platform we have to identify? So they have given the train length as 300 meter and uh, it is crossing a platform in 39 seconds. We don't know the length of the platform that is only we have to identify and also they are saying that the same train crosses a pole in 18 seconds. So with the train length and these uh, train crossing the signal pole we will be identify we will be getting the uh, length that is speed of the train we will be able to identify so with that we will be substituting in the previous formula what we have seen that is uh, like this tunnel formula is there no same formula will be applicable for this platform sum also we will be seeing that so length of the platform be x meters so we don't know what is going to be the length of the platform so we are going to take it as x meters so this is length of the train not length of the platform so length of the train is going to be 300 meters so they have given the length and uh, time no so with that we are going to identify the speed of the train so speed of the train is going to be 300 divided by 18 seconds so that is going to be 50 divided by 3 meter per second so substituting this in the formula of same formula what we are going what we have seen in the first question so time is equal to length of train plus length of platform divided by speed will come for the second question so uh, speed is equal to so 50 divided by 3 is nothing but speed so speed is equal to distance divided by uh, distance divided by time so distance is nothing but uh, x plus 300 so 300 is going to be the length of the train and x is going to be the length of the platform divided by 39 is the time taken to cross that particular platform so cross multiplying all these values and solving for the value of x you will be getting the answer as 350 meter so option b is the correct answer for the second question and the last question is a train speeds past a pole in 15 seconds and a platform in platform 100 meter long in 25 seconds we have to identify the length of the train so here they have given the speed uh, that the train crosses a particular pole in 15 seconds and a platform in 25 seconds and that platform length is 100 meter we have to identify the length of the train so length of the train be x meters and its speed be y meter per second so we don't know what is going to be the length of the train as well as the speed of the train so we are going to assume it as x and y so x by y is going to be 
15 that is nothing but distance divided by speed is equal to time we are going to assume so distance divided by uh, speed is equal to time that is nothing but 15 so taking y on the other side y is nothing but speed is equal to x divided by 15 so now we know the formula for platform sum so distance is nothing but distance of the train plus distance of the platform divided by speed is equal to uh, uh, distance divided by time is equal to speed so that is the formula we have used here so distance divided by uh, speed is equal to sorry time is equal to speed so speed is nothing but y is equal to x divided by 15 we have assumed now so here the right hand side value will come as x divided by 15 not x divided by 25 so that one slight change you have to do and cross multiplying the value will be following for x value means you will be getting the answer as 150 meter so option b is the correct answer for the last question so i hope you like this video if you like this video please share it with your friends and if you're new to this channel and have not subscribed my channel yet please do subscribe my channel for more videos so see you in the next video until then stay tuned signing off from you bye take care